Now, KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. Well, the main headline right now is the heat across the area dangerously hot in those lower desert regions. Excessive heat warning continues all the way through 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. That does include Tucson in the lower desert regions. Cochise County out of this one, but it's still hot there and it's still hot over much of the southwestern United States. As we look across the area, 99 in Wilcox, 110 in Tucson after an earlier high of 111. 113 Casa Grande, Phoenix made it to 119, now down 2 degrees to 117. 104 in Douglas, the current temperature across the area. And you see our winds, a little bit of a northerly component, a little bit of an easter, or easterly component as well, getting some of that smoke and haze in here from the Silver Fire in uh, near Silver City, New Mexico. You can also see that we have light breezes here in Tucson. Really, that's not going to cool us down, though, with the temperatures that we have. And right there on our sky cam, I focused it down a little bit. As my car, I just bought it. It's black, it has black leather, and you live and you learn, right? 110 outside. So look, you can see some of those towers in the distance right there over the Rincon Mountains. Thunderstorms trying to form, but they're having a little bit of trouble. We have very low humidity on the ground. You can see just 32 uh, 32 dew point right now. Humidity 6%. And we see some sunshine still coming in, but a couple showers uh, are making it to the ground. We're talking Graham Greenlee County, some lightning strikes near Safford, but these will start to fizzle out as they encounter that drier air near the Tucson area. We are getting some clouds from that, though. You can see a dew point of 37 in Wilcox, 27 in Sierra Vista, 24 in Douglas, and that drier air will become more moist as we go forward, though. You can see how some of those storms are forming a little bit better coverage in New Mexico. Off to the north near Flagstaff, we have some clouds and moisture as well. And we'll get our turn, too, as we head forward in time. You can see our Futurecast moisture model is adding a little bit more day by day. This is Monday early in the morning. You can see those darker greens getting a little bit closer to Tucson. And that will definitely have an impact on our forecast. So starting as soon as tomorrow, a 20% chance of storms. Graham Greenlee County Cochise is in on this. And around the Tucson area, we're talking eastern Pinal County as well. We'll keep that at about a 10% chance, so most folks will not see the rain. As we go into the overnight, you can see those clouds meandering across the area. And then to the afternoon hours, typical monsoon pattern. We get that heating in the afternoon, and we get those thunderstorm chances beginning. You can see Cochise County right around the Tombstone to Wilcox area, and then just south toward Green Valley into Santa Cruz County. Maybe some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon as well. And then those will fizzle off as the nighttime draws in. So we go to 72 in Sierra Vista tonight, 75 in Nogales. Look at that, a low of 90 up to the north in Phoenix. It's even upper 60s in Sholo. That's very warm for them. 73 in Bisbee. That'll be matched in Douglas as well. Here in Tucson, we go to 82. We'll see a little bit of that smoky, hazy sky sticking around tonight. We'll call it partly cloudy. Southerly winds at 5 miles per hour across the area. Heading to 110 tomorrow. So outside what we're feeling right now, that'll be the high temperature tomorrow. Maybe a degree or two cooler where you live. Thunderstorms forming off to the east, off to the south of Tucson. Northeasterly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heading to 116 in Phoenix, 104 in Wilcox. Once again, better chances of storms. Graham, Greenlee, Cochise, and Santa Cruz counties. Bisbee 101 with a chance of storms and your seven day forecast has a lot going on on it. Take a look at these rain chances really ramping up as we go through the work week and then the 4th of July. That's our peak rain chance right there. 50% chance of storms and look what it does to our temperatures. This is great. They go down day by day. Even some upper 90s are possible as we finish out this work week. Looking forward to that. Nine your side at five is going to return right after this.